In this practical, we're going to add a network adapter card to the PC and then use its diagnostic lights to check that it's working properly. We are going to add a 10 stroke 100 base T Ethernet card. Notice the socket for the RJ45 connector and the diagnostic lights. It's a PCI card and we follow the usual procedure for adding a PCI card to the expansion bus. It's worth noting that none of the cards that we've added has had jumpers. Most cards these days are plug and play and automatically configured. The most likely places where you will encounter jumpers these days are on motherboards and hard disk drives. Now we're going to examine the diagnostic lights as a first check that the hardware is working correctly. The meaning of the diagnostic lights and how many there are will vary from card to card. We can now see the network card functioning. The two top lights indicate that we're working at 100 megabits per second, while the flashing bottom light indicates activity on the line. In this practical, we've seen how to insert a network card, which is straightforward enough, and we've also seen how to carry out some preliminary checks to see how it's functioning. You'll learn more about how to verify that a network is functioning correctly in the operating systems part of this course, as well as in the Network Plus course.